Hello folks, somebody said I look like uh, Indiana Jones. <laughs> somebody else said I look like Chuck Norris. Well, I'm neither of the two. I'm happy to say I'm Simon Lee. And welcome, welcome here to what I'm doing here with this kiln. This is exciting. Um, we're breaking new ground, we're taking you could say it's recy recycling in a way because we're taking an old kiln that was really discarded because the, it was just old and the elements had burnt out and we're converting it into a gas kiln. Um, but I'm now thinking of perhaps making some changes to this kiln um, from how I had it before because I don't know if you remember before but I had the chimney stack on the outside of the kiln. Let me bring the camera, bring the camera in for us. I'm just having to drink of this hot chocolate to keep warm because I'm outside here and it's my wood-burning stove over there is struggling to keep me warm, but just about. Let's bring the camera in and I show you the inside, the inside of the kiln. And let's just go around the side here where, where the burners, where you can see the two weed burners in their respective holes. Um, that's where they will be. They won't be exactly like that. I've stuffed them inside a bit just to, so they hold position there for this clip, but they're actually held a little bit outside of the kiln. You can see though, there is a, a hole there for the, that I cut through for the chimney because on the last kiln that I made the chimney if you remember was built um, built out of bricks like those there you see on the floor built though up up on the outside of the kiln here all the way all the way to the top of the kiln well uh, what I'm now considering doing is actually Block, blocking off that hole there. It's nice, you see, I've got the hole there, but I can fill it up with ceramic fiber. And you see, I have the option then of changing it from one design to another. But what I'm actually considering doing is building the chimney, building the chimney here on the inside of the kiln. There's different ways I can do that. I could use, you see the slot, the slot is there. I could make a chimney, you see, here, across here like that. In other words, all, all the way up like that. And that becomes the chimney then there. I'm not explaining it very well using that. Um, hang on a moment. Bear with me in my ponderings. I'll use this brick just to explain. Let's let's imagine, let's imagine we're building here the chimney. Okay. All right. So the the chimney is here. It needs it needs to be sealed around the sides here, of course. All right. So the whole of the chimney is here. So the chimney is actually built on the inside of the structure of the kiln. What that then means is, of course, that the, uh, the lid of the kiln, whoops, the lid here, the lid here of the kiln, which will be located about this height, once I've got the, the third ring here, these, I, I refer to these, these as, as rings, rings of bricks, you see, the third ring, is cont it has three rings, this kiln. When I put the third ring on, this 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 chimney arrangement here comes right up to the top of the of of the kiln here, level level with this, as if it came up like that. You see, like that there. And then, corresponding exactly with that hole there, I then cut a slot in in the in the lid, which is hinged. So every time it opens and closes exactly this 
hole here where the chimney is, you know, meets up with the, the hole in the lid. Is what I'm trying to say in a roundabout kind of way. So, I'm just pondering at the moment that. Because, now, looking at those bricks that I've got there, they're probably too thick. They could well be half, half, the, half the thickness of this to build that, that chimney. So, so what are the pros and what are the cons of doing that versus how I had it before with the chimney coming out the outside? Well, I think the cons are, obviously, it is eating into a little bit of the general uh, size of the kiln. The interior volume of the kiln is being slightly eaten away by the fact We've got to have this here, although it won't be it won't be sticking out as much as that. Once they're cut down in half, cut through in half, they would only stick out would only stick out that much. All right, so that that's really the main con. But pros are the chimney will start to draw quicker, and I think it. I haven't. I can't give you a scientific explanation as to why, but I, I think it will work better on the inside. Um, the, the chimney being lovely and hot because it's heated on the inside of the kiln. And I think the, f the firing, I think the firing will, will be, in actual fact, more efficient and perhaps a shorter firing. I'm not, in all honesty, let me just put this here back on the tripod so I can wave my arms around because I can't talk properly unless I can wave my arms. That's because I've been living out in Spain too long. Well, I have to talk with my arms, you see. <laughs> so, um, what I'm trying to say, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that uh, something inside me tells me that it's going to be more efficient with the chimney on the outside, even on the inside, even though it's taking away a little bit from the from the from the size, you know. So the problem is I haven't got right now here. I really need the proper kind of glue that we use to stick fibre and bricks. This stuff called sodium silicate. And I haven't got any. So I'm having to rack my brain and thinking how I can um, how I can improvise or come up with another way of constructing that chimney. Once upon a time, when I was out in Spain, I took bricks like these and I marked out, I marked out the slot, and I, I drilled it through all the way with a big fat drill and then I had a file actually it was a file that a blacksmith used for rasping off the edges of hooves of, of horses hooves um, after he put the new shoe onto the hoof and nailed it there he would then rasp it with this file it was one of these it was a horse hoof file so I would rasp out the inside until I get an exact hollowed out piece. Problem is they're kind of fragile these bricks and they easily disintegrate. So I'm in two minds about whether to do that because once you've done that you've then wasted a brick. And these bricks are like three to four dollars each. That's one alternative. Another alternative is to use this kind of brick which is a bit harder. It's an insulating brick. Uh, the downside is it's harder to cut, harder to drill. Um, still, that might be the way to go. Another way, another way to do it would be to construct using this carbon fibre, no, ceramic fibre, not carbon fibre, joining them together like this. Now, I haven't got any glue, but maybe I could... I've got some old element wire down there. Maybe I could stitch it with like rivets, you know, 
and stick them together, hold them together. You know, as potters, we have to learn to improvise, don't we? It's so easy just to think, oh, well, I'll just go and buy, 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 buy. What about make, make, make? It doesn't, doesn't figure in people's thinking that they can actually make something because all the time it's so easy just to go down to your pottery supplier and buy it or buy something. But, uh, you know, I'm not suggesting our pottery suppliers um, that we, we don't use them because they are useful, of course. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, um, or putting forth the argument for, you know, what about using a bit of ingenuity creativity um, you know the saying um, uh, what is it about the mother of invention uh, necessity necessity is the mother of invention I go along with that So, that's where I'm at right now with this. One of the reasons, one of the reasons I didn't want to put the chimney on the outside was that this ring here of bricks has got that stainless steel and the heat transmitted through from the chimney causes the stainless steel to get very hot and ultimately um, break or disintegrate. So uh, by having the chimney actually on the inside, apart from the being more efficient, methinks, <laughs> far from being more efficient, um, I'm going to preserve intact that stainless steel band around the outside of the kiln. And these days, I mean, a lot of a lot of these a lot of these uh, a lot of these kilns don't they? They come, um, they come with these, they're generally round like this, with these angled, angled bricks in the inside there, and with this sheath, this stainless steel sheath here on the outside. God, that's sharp, I just cut myself on it. Piece of sharp metal there, and I wiped my hand over it. You can see here, um, let's just move the camera. I want you to see, I want you to see that there, you see. You see, this is exactly what I was talking about, the disintegration of the metal sheathing on the outside because of having the chimney there, which I wanted to avoid because once that sheathing is broken, the kiln is very difficult to transport. I, as you can see, I've drilled it and held it with a piece of wire just to, you know, just to preserve it. Um, so, ah, and they have to, I'm just cutting these bricks. Uh, not those ones actually, but the, I'm talking about the, you know, these soft, these soft bricks, you know, we can very easily, see how easily they, they cut, just, just with the saw. So, Probably a good idea to wear some kind of mask over your face because this dust is not good uh, in your lungs at all. So we want to avoid getting that inside us. I don't know if you re re recall the last, the last clip I did here on this, on this kiln where I was holding this ring and I was putting it in place, you saw all the dust falling out. Uh, foolishly, foolishly, I wasn't wearing a mask. And I should have been. 
because that day, later on that day, I, <coughs> I, I had, I had that stuff in my throat, you know, and uh, that was a classic case of, um, you know, not doing what I should have done, and. I've got some masks somewhere, some dust masks. Anyway, so this is what we've got to do. We've got to build this up. All right, folks. Well, there. Just a, a short little clip on where I am at this moment. And um, if you. <coughs> If you go to the web, if you go to my uh, website, um, Simon Leach, Simon Leach Pottery, SimonLeachPottery.com, um, please go there. You can see uh, uh, information there about workshops, um, information there about T-shirts, information about. Uh, where we are here, uh, information about YouTube video clips, etc., etc. Stuff that you might find of use and information. So, I'll leave it with you for, for now. Keep practicing. See you soon. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do.